Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed some problems on page 122. There was a homework. Let us check the answer now. A 1.5 meter tall boy saw the top of a building under construction at an elevation of 30 degree. The completed building was 10 meters higher and the boy saw its top at an elevation of 60 degree from the same spot. What is the height of the building? There is a building under construction and there is a boy. His height is 1.5 meters. He sees the top of the building at an elevation of 30 degree. The building was completed by adding 10 meters to its height. From the same spot, the boy sees the top of the building at an elevation of 60 degree. We have to find the height of the building. Let us draw a figure at first. Let me draw the ground at first. There is a building under construction. There is a boy. His height is 1.5 meters. He sees the top of the building at an elevation of 30 degree. Angle of elevation means he has to look straight at first. Then he has to look upwards. The angle between them is 30 degree. The building was completed by adding 10 meters to its height. From the same spot, the boy sees the top at an elevation of 60 degree. Angle of elevation means he has to look straight at first. Then he has to look upwards. The angle between them is 60 degree. Now let us give a name for this figure. We need to find the height of the building. In the figure, the building is AD. And we know AD is equal to AB plus BC plus CD. CD equal to EF. Therefore, CD equal to 1.5 meters. AB is 10. So it is enough to find BC to find the height of the building. First of all, let us identify two right triangles in this figure. BCF is a right triangle and ACF is another right triangle. Let me take DE as X. Then CF is also X. Let me take BC as Y. Now take the triangle BCF. Based on this angle, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. Let me take tan 30. Tan 30 equal to BC by CF. The value of tan 30 is 1 by root 3 and BC is taken as Y, CF is taken as X. So this can be written as 1 by root 3 equal to Y by X. Cross multiplying we get X equal to root 3 Y. Now let us take the second right triangle, triangle ACF. This angle is 60 degree. Let me take tan 60. Tan 60 equal to opposite side by adjacent side or AC by CF. The value of tan 60 is root 3 and AC is AB plus BC or 10 plus Y or Y plus 10 and CF is taken as X. So this can be written as root 3 equal to Y plus 10 divided by X. Taking x on the other side, we can write root 3x equal to y plus 10. Root 3x equal to y plus 10, but we have already got x equal to root 3y. So let us replace this x by root 3y. Then we can write root 3 into root 3y equal to y plus 10. Root 3 into root 3 is 3. So this can be written as 3y equal to y plus 10. Taking y on the other side, we can write 3y minus y equal to 10. 3y minus y is 2y. So we can write 2y equal to 10. Taking 2 on the other side, we can say y equal to 10 by 2 or 5. Now we got the value of y, that is the length of BC. Let us find the height of the building now. The height of the building is AD. And it can be written as AB plus BC plus CD. AB is 10 meters, BC is Y and that is equal to 5 meters and CD is equal to EF and that is equal to 1.5 meters. So this can be written as 10 plus 5 plus 1.5 and that is equal to 16.5. That is the height of the building is 16.5 meters. Today, let us do the remaining problems on page 122. 
Next problem. A 1.75 meter tall man standing at the foot of a tower sees the top of a hill 40 meters away at an elevation of 60 degree. Climbing to the top of the tower, he sees it at an elevation of 50 degree. Calculate the heights of the tower and the hill. Here we can see that the hill is taller than the tower because even after climbing the top of the tower, he sees the top of the hill at an elevation of 50 degree. That means he has to look upwards to see the top of the hill. Means hill is taller than the tower. So in this problem, there is a hill and there is a tower. The distance between them is 40 meters. There is a man, his height is 1.75 meter. He stands at the foot of the tower and sees the top of the hill at an elevation of 60 degree. After that, he climbs on the top of the tower and from there he sees the top of the hill at an elevation of 50 degree. We have to find the heights of the tower and the hill. Let us draw the figure at first. Let me draw the ground. Then there is a hill and there is a tower smaller than the hill. The distance between them is 40 meters. Now there is a man standing at the foot of the tower. His height is 1.75 meters. From here he sees the top of the hill at an elevation of 60 degree. Angle of elevation means he has to look straight at first. Then he has to look upwards. The angle between them is 60 degree. Now he climbs on the top of the tower. We know his height is 1.75 meters. From there he sees the top of the hill at an elevation of 50 degree. Angle of elevation means he has to look straight at first and he has to look upwards. The angle between these two lines is 50 degree. We need to find the heights of the hill and the tower. In this figure AD is the hill and EG is the tower. First of all, let us identify two right angle triangles. Triangle ABH is a right angle triangle and triangle ACF is another right angle triangle. DE is 40 meters, therefore CF is also 40 meters and BH is also 40 meters. Now let us take the right angle triangle ABH. Let me take tan 50. Tan 50 is equal to opposite side by adjacent side or AB by BH. The value of tan 50 is 1.1918 and BH is equal to DE and that is equal to 40 meters. So we can write this as 1.1918 equal to AB by 40. Taking 40 on the other side, we can write AB equal to 1.1918 into 40. Multiplying we get 47.672 meters. That is the length of AB is 47.672 meters. Now let us take the second right angle triangle ACF. This angle is 60 degree. Let us take tan 60. Tan 60 is equal to opposite side by adjacent side or AC by CF. The value of tan 60 is root 3 and CF is equal to 40 meters. So we can write this as root 3 equal to AC by 40. Taking 40 on the other side, we can write AC equal to 40 into root 3. The value of root 3 is approximately 1.73. So we can write this as 1.73 into 40. Multiplying, we get 69.2. That is AC is 69.2 meters. So we have got AB and AC. Now let us find the heights of the tower and the hill. The height of the hill is AD and it can be written as AC plus CD. We have calculated AC as 69.2 and CD is equal to EF and that is equal to 1.75 meters. So we can write this as 69.2 plus 1.75. Adding together we get 70.95 meters, that is height of the hill is equal to 70.95 meters. 
Now height of the tower is EG and EG equal to FH. From EG 1.75 meters is taken and that is given at the top. Therefore EG and FH are equal. Now FH is equal to BC. We can write BC as AC minus AB. AC is 69.2 and AB is 47.672. So this can be written as 69.2 minus 47.672. Subtracting we get 21.528. That is height of the tower is 21.528 meters. Next problem. A man 1.8 meter tall standing at the top of a telephone tower so the top of a 10 meter high building at a depression of 40 degree and the base of the building at a depression of 60 degree. What is the height of the tower? How far is it from the building? Here we can understand that the building is smaller than the telephone tower because from the top of the telephone tower the man sees the top of the building at a depression of 40 degree. That means he is looking downwards to see the top of the building. There is a building, its height is 10 meters. There is a telephone tower and there is a man on the top of the telephone tower. His height is 1.8 meters. From there, he sees the top of the building at a depression of 40 degree and base of the building at a depression of 60 degree. We need to find the height of the telephone tower and the distance between the telephone tower and the building. Let us draw a figure at first. Let me draw the ground. Then there is a telephone tower and there is a person standing on the top of it. His height is 1.8 meters. Now there is a building. Its height is 10 meters. The person sees the top of the building at a depression of 40 degree. That means he has to look straight at first. Then he has to look downwards. The angle between them is 40 degree. Now from the same position the person sees the base of the building at a depression of 60 degree. That means he has to look straight at first then he has to look downwards the angle between them is 60 degree. Since this angle is 60 degree this angle is also 60 degree because they are alternate angles formed when a pair of parallel lines are intersected by this line. Now let me draw a line parallel to this line through this point like this. Now these two are parallel lines and they are intersected by this line. Therefore these two angles are equal. That means this angle is also 40 degree. Now let us give a name for this figure. We need to find the height of the telephone tower. BD is the telephone tower. We need to find the distance between the telephone tower and the building. ED is the distance between the telephone tower and the building. Let us take it as X. Then CF is also equal to X. First of all, let us identify two right triangles in this figure. ACF is a right angle triangle and ADE is another right angle triangle. Let me take triangle ACF. Based on this angle, AC is the opposite side and CF is the adjacent side. Let me take tan 40. Tan 40 is equal to AC by CF. The value of tan 40 is 0 0.8391 and we have taken CF as X. So this can be written as 0 0.8391 equal to AC by X. Taking X on the other side, we can write AC equal to 0 0.8391 X. Now let us take the second right angle triangle, triangle ADE. This angle is 60. AD is the opposite side and DE is the adjacent side. Therefore tan 60 equal to AD by DE. The value of tan 60 is root 3 and DE is taken as X. Therefore this can be written as root 3 equal to AD by X. Taking x on the other side, we can write ad equal to root 3x. The approximate value of root 3 is 1.73. Therefore, this can be written as ad equal to 1.73x. Given that the height of the building is 10 meters, 
that is EF equal to 10 meters. EF equal to CD, therefore CD is also equal to 10 meters. And CD can be written as AD minus AC, therefore AD minus AC equal to 10 meters. And we have got AD as 1.73x and AC as 0.8391x. Therefore, we can write 1.73x minus 0.8391x equal to 10. Subtracting, we get 0.8909x equal to 10. To find the value of x, let us take 0.8909 on the other side. So, we get x equal to 10 by 0.8909. Dividing, we get 11.224604 etc. We can approximately take it as 11.2. Now, we got the value of x. Let us find ad now. We know AD equal to 1.73X and the value of X is 11.2. So this can be written as 1.73 into 11.2. Multiplying we get 19.376. Now let us find the height of the tower. Height of the tower is BD and that is AD minus AB. AD is 19.376. And AB is 1.8. So this can be written as 19.376 minus 1.8. Subtracting we get 17.576 meters. That is height of the tower is 17.576 meters. Now the distance between the tower and the building is X. And we have got the value of X as 11.2. Therefore, the distance between the tower and the building is 11.2 meters. This chapter is complete here. It is an important chapter as far as your exam is concerned. Study well and revise regularly. In the next video, we shall discuss another chapter. Till then, bye.